Hello YouTube, and welcome to my review of the Revoltec Humora the Batosai. This is Kenshin how he appeared in the past, more specifically in the OVA series Trust and Betrayal. And it is pretty much a straight recolor of the original release with a little slight modification to the face. So, let's get into this review. For head articulation, his head can rotate 360 degrees. And go that far down, that far up. And just like the original release, his hair does come off rather easily. But better that it comes off easily than too, too hard. Now his ponytail is attached via a revoltic joint. So you can move wherever you place the bending point. 360 turn. Overall very nice. And the ponytail is actually higher than the normal Kenshin's. This is his and this is normal Kenshin's. As you can see, it's up higher than the normal. So, nice little attention to detail there. For torso articulation, he can rotate 360 degrees. He can bend down that far, back about that far. And there goes his hair. <laughs> Now if you rotate the joint like so, he can get side to side movement. And as you saw, the belt is just a loose piece. For arm articulation, he has a roll take joint right here. So you can rotate 360 degrees. Gonna have to contend with his hair though. The arm can go that high up. Gets a little bit of rotation, but it's kind of stopped by the back of his sleeve. There's your voltage joint in the elbow. Gets a little bit more than a 90 degree bend. And rotates 360 degrees right here and if you twist the joint around you can get some weird kind of bend like that and the hand is just on a simple peg so you can rotate 360 degrees and swivel back and forth the legs can go about that far apart. Now the belt does hang down but uh, what you do is you just tuck it underneath this piece right here and you can still get a leg forward. Goes forward about that much. Kinda goes back a little bit. Swivels right here. Knee bends about that much. Kind of hard to see because all his uh, white's blending in. Just as the normal release, this little piece of the pants, if I can get it, it comes off. Simple two little pegs. And this is for when you want him to sit down on the ground. He can without his pants leg puffing up his leg. So that's nice. And the foot is on a revolver joint. Rotate 360 degrees. Go that far down. Not really any up. And you can go side to side. Plenty. Starting off with the face. 
Unlike the original, he has a serious looking straightforward face instead of the happy straightforward looking face. And as I mentioned before, he has the single scar instead of the cross shaped scar. He has a looking to the right face and a looking to the left face. Moving on to the hands, let's start off with the right side hands. Comes with a right fist, comes with a sword holding hand, comes with a hand that's about to draw the sword, moving on to the left side, comes with a sheath holding hand for the small sword, a sheath holding hand for the large sword, a finger flicking hand for the small sword, a finger flicking hand for the large sword, and a splayed open hand. Comes with two different belts. One is for the small sword, and the other is for the large sword. Now the small sword is right here. I should say the small scabbard is right here. I mean, this is just a handle that you can remove. And then it comes with a larger scabbard with a thin bladed sword inside. And it comes with a thicker sword. Now for the life of me, I do not understand why they even include this. Because, it, I mean, it's just too thick compared to the other one. I much prefer this one. And it can't even fit into the sheath, but about that much. Any further, and you're just going to scratch the paint. Final thoughts. Himura the Batosai is a really solid Revoltek figure release. Now, he has all the positives of the regular release and all of the negatives. He still doesn't come with a fist for his left side and his hair on the front still falls off too easily. But the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. He's really easy to pose and once you get him into a pose he's going to stay because of the nice ratcheting joints. So I definitely definitely recommend you pick this guy up. Now most people are going to run out and buy the regular version of Kenshin. And only the die-hard fans are going to buy the Batosai version. Unless they really, really like the Batosai colors for some reason. And uh, I bought both of them at the same time just because I wanted to have both. I liked both forms of Kenshin. I liked the movie Trust and Betrayal. So uh, it was a no-brainer for me. And uh, I can definitely recommend it to fans of his Batosai counterpart. And... Uh, anyone who just wants a really cool samurai figure. Now this is a regular release just as the normal version is. So you can find them anywhere that sells Revoltex. And because this is the version that's going to be less in demand, you're probably going to have a lot easier time finding him in the future than you will the normal version. And as you can see, if you have both, they look really good standing back to back on a rotating base. So with that, I'll see you at the next review.